Okay, let's get this done. Stand to finish. Time to finish everything. So classes will be hard. I already done wearing rogue, but the only difference is stats and the weapons that they start with. So this is uh, partially done. So I will think what to do with it later on. Let's go back here. Experience is not that important. Uh, we need to add sounds, we need to add particles. Uh, we don't really care about this. Mm. Okay, now let's let's do this and let's do proper models. So in this task, we want characters, weapons, oh, that's everything. Okay. And let's go here. We got three hours left. Where is my screen exactly? Oh, okay, it's here. Let's take it here. We don't need this anymore. I actually can move it to the next screen and hide it. And let's focus on what we have in store here. So I've added some new packs. Uh, let's make this a bit smaller. I have new packs. Uh, let's maybe start with footsteps. Yes, the this widget, I don't need it. So let's start with footsteps. Let's go here, let's go to our fantasy character. And let's go, we do not have our footstep component, so we don't need to make one. So this will be a core component. Uh, it would be a blueprint, and this would be AGR sound master component. Select so DP fantasy sound master. Mm, okay, put it here, add it here. Fantasy sound master, great. And let's go into defaults. Let's go into foot definition. So let's for now do debug, trace complex on visibility. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Out of place and out of volume. Minimum cycle 0 0.25 is fine. Volume multiplier is one, surface trace length, uh, let's make it bigger, like 11 or something. And now we need food setup, which is an, a data asset. So we're going to go to our data folder. I'm going to make one here. So we need, uh, oh, no, 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 not like this. We need to make, uh, I think it's blueprint, no. Data asset is miscellaneous. Okay, data asset and type of this data asset is um, AGR sound config. Okay, select, call it data asset uh, uh, underscore character footsteps. We would make different config, for example, for a horse. Or maybe we could make a different config for a heavy armor guy, but this is this will going to be the default one. <coughs> and because uh, of me importing um, a very cool footstep uh, pack, 
which is um, Hoofer Sounds with Blueprint. I can highly recommend that. It's only 30 megabytes. And it's just absolutely amazing. I also recommend Niagara Footstep VFX, which is free and it's a, a great solution to, to add to this. Um, so we just have one sound and we don't need more of them. So if we go here, we go into footstep sound, then we have a lot of things here. We can delete the map, delete it. Okay, great. Uh, footstep character, okay, this one we can delete as well. Mm, yes. The references are to the animation blueprint that is useless for us, because there are some examples here and we don't need those examples. Okay, so this guy and this, okay, all of this. So this, delete as well. The only thing we need is this, so this has the Q, which will be silent if you play it here, and materials, what are materials for, definitely not for sound, so delete that as well. Oh, there were the physical materials, never mind, I'm going to make new ones just to show you how to uh, make them. So, let's make this bigger. Um, we don't have sounds at all yet. Mm, let's rename this to footsteps. Okay, back on the clock. It took quite some time. I paused the clock because I was doing other things in the meantime. And it was just my being me being quirky that I wanted everything to be in proper folders but I could work with it without putting it like this so let's go here say commit set stage all the changes we have made and let's say it's clean add folders with visual assets vfx and sounds and push commit and I don't have to wait for this to finish we can happen on the second monitor and we're getting back here so first thing we're going to do is going to set up the uh, footsteps as we already started doing so let's go to core uh, let's go to our fantasy where is it uh, Come on. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Did it disappear? It did when my engine crashed. That's very interesting. Yeah, there's no sound component. Ha! Huh. Okay, let's go back to core. Oh, we are here in core. Uh, let's make it again. And it's uh, AGR sound master component. BP underscore fantasy sound. Okay, save it immediately, and open it here, add it, fantasy sound, great, uh, compile, save, and we're not doing anything in character, we're doing everything here in the component itself. So fit definition is default, out of place, out of volume, do debug, visibility checks, 11 or even 12 will be the trace length volume multiplier is one and now we need a config let's go to data let's make new miscarious data asset agr da agr footstep config let's call it data asset underscore 
um, character footsteps. So we could have different footstep config for different things like a heavy armor character or something like that. And we just need one uh, cue to be here. So we go into audio, we go into uh, footstep sound, this one. And we have uh, reverb and attenuation that we're going to use here. So here attenuation goes to this and there are no concurrency and reverb is being used directly inside the queue. So we have this footstep queue that doesn't do anything when we play it, but don't worry about it. It works. It has here the attenuation. Um, <clears throat> okay. So it has uh, setup which is uh, using um, <coughs> floor switch and then we have one modulator which is just 5% randomness continuous modulator which uses a parameter step volume that we don't need and don't want but you know what let's uh, get it back and let's actually make a copy of it uh, let's call it character footstep and we're going to modify this one and this modified version is going to be set here as sound surface is default and just say character footstep and it must have a default that can be empty or this can be actually even um, completely empty but we might consider adding particles to full step as well. Concurrency can be empty. This can be empty, but we're leaving it like this. Minimum velocity for the minimum uh, sound will be walking velocity. So 190 max velocity will be 380 for us or even 360, I would say. Yeah, 360 will be the maximum. And this is for the auto uh, volume setting. So we got this. And now in Fantasy Sound, we don't need this. What we're going to do is bind event. <coughs> bind event to character make footstep sound. So we're doing a binding on the start. I'm going to make a cast event. Uh, character make footstep. It would be very useful if we had AI to be able to hear footsteps but but we're not really going to do anything about that uh, set integer parameter so we need to set integer parameter to this q we don't care if it's left or right foot uh, particle is not being spawned so we don't care volume multiplication we don't care and hit event we probably won't need as well Okay, so let's open uh, our queue, this one, and let's go here. So this modulator stays, this is continuous step volume. We don't need this one. And this is step play, true, false. So this is also a bool parameter. We don't need that. We always want to play footstep. And we go here and say, do we want to play rattle? And there is rattle volume. Rattle volume will be const. And this is rattle and this actually we do want to have so branch rattle play so this is the bull parameter let's copy it let's put it here and say sound set bull parameter and the name is this one and we're going to make it a variable and call it rattle let's make it default true mm. What else there is in the sound and there's this this mixer and this modulator nothing else okay this needs also a default the default will be i mean grass concrete gravel let's make it just ground we probably won't use many of those now we could make multiple 
separated footsteps, but we can also use just parameters like we do here. Our parameter at unset will also go to ground. And in general, it is ground. What is this mixer? Uh, okay. Here, oh, is mail. That's interesting. Is mail is also a bool parameter and it's used everywhere. Is mail, yes. Okay, so we need to add this parameter as well. Z bool parameter, we might use it later on. Uh, is mail. Let's make it also true by default. Uh, and let's connect this one up. I think that's everything. So for now, it should just do ground uh, sounds without switching them to anything. But it should start working. So now if we go into our fantasy sound, we go into class defaults and we go into here. We can pick this data asset. Uh, we are ignoring those because we're doing auto plays. And if we go into our test map, we should start seeing footsteps immediately. Okay, I guess the traces are too short, so we should make them longer. Let's make it like 20. Okay, reset time should be smaller, 0.15, and this can be also shorter, let's try it now. Okay, a bit longer. straightening they're not working properly so I need to make them a little bit longer okay now they work in all directions Okay, so we got working footsteps, for now we're just using default uh, when it comes down to this uh, floor type. Um, but let's make it work, let's make it actually work, it's not much effort, let's go to project settings. Um, let's go to surface. And uh, you know what, we can just copy surfaces names from the footstep itself as it goes. Uh, so zero 01 is carpet. I wouldn't call that a surface, but uh, so this is carpet. And by the way, uh, in our configuration, if we go to data, we are mapping oh yeah this is the surface okay not the um, physical material but the surface itself zero two concrete okay um, here and then we have grass and gravel um, have ground, metal and plastic. <clears throat> ground, metal, plastic, and then we have sand, snow and water. Uh, 
sand, snow and water, that's great. Uh, wood and that's everything. Let's add mud. And mud is going to be a new one. It's going to be a very easy one to make. That's going to be the last one. And we're going to make branch. And we're going to copy this one. Um, you know what? No, it's going to be even easier. Um, we're going to make a mixer for the mud. A mixer is going to be equal of ground output and water output. And that actually will sound like mud without putting much more effort to it. Of course, it's good to store all of those setups in a separate queues because they are easier to manage. <clears throat> but this will work. So we got mud and we added mud as surface type 12. Okay. So they are also indexed for, from zero being default and it's the same um, in the object. So we want to do, uh, we want to break hit reaction and then we want to get physical material surface type. Or you know what? We can get surface type as a function it's a pure cast function, and then this um, can we? We can do byte to int, and then this integer can go directly here, and this should work. But we need to test it. So here we're going to make a cube, put it down. Uh, maybe make it bigger to three meters by three meters. That's great. Copy it a few times and then do more and just test a few surfaces. We don't need many of those. Uh, <coughs> we should go into, I would say base. Oh, we don't have base. Mm. We got gameplay, we got core. Here are all the templates. We don't have base, that's interesting. So we should have a base uh, folder and can give it a new color. Uh, let's make it black. And here let's make um, physical materials. You know, it's not even base, it's physics. Um, do it like this physics uh, new folder physical materials and let's make few so physical materials are probably here uh, no oh there's physics okay Mm, physical material, there we go, and they are of type physical material. Let's make one uh, PM underscore, and what was the first one? Oh, geez, I need to take a look at it again. Okay, zero one carpet, concrete, grass. Mm. Carpet, uh, concrete, zero two, um, grass, and then we have gravel, ground metal. Uh, 
metal um, and then plastic sand snow Sand is a bit smaller up there. I can't stand it. Uh, okay. Oh, what? What? This is really annoying. And I can't delete it now. Failed to load asset. That's great. Uh, Sand snow uh, and then water wood and water wood mud. Okay. <clears throat> mm. uh, okay. Test materials. I hope I made a new material and call it M. Wood. Let's make a new one. Call it M underscore grass. And make a new one. M underscore. Um, Concrete. Okay, and last one will be I don't know, let's pick one metal. Metal is very distinguished. Underscore metal. Okay, open all of them. And we only care for this. Metal is metal. Oh, which component has some physical materials as well? Uh, grass. Concrete. And wood. Oh, you can even use a mask for materials, that's cool. Okay, make sure that all of them have PM underscore number, so they are ours. Yes, they are. Okay. So we got, uh, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, let's just apply one on each. They can be this blackish, I won't care. Okay, what's the problem here? I guess it could be that we are tracing complex instead of simple collision because simple collision takes material from the surface no? okay that's not the problem so the problem is this um, Default, 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 default. And why is it default? <coughs> if it's clearly not, let's take this one. This is grass. Uh, oh, maybe I can resave that. Or maybe. 
maybe I have to break physical material with surface from the material and do this print. That is very odd, I must say. Let's try tracing on central collision. They don't have physical material override. Uh, <coughs> okay, I'm going to check this out real quick. Took me just a few seconds to debug that. Uh, yeah, for materials, we did set up physical materials. For physical materials, we didn't set up surface. So, yeah, fun times. Can we edit? Oh no, we can't edit it bulk. Okay, let's just do one by one. So this will be mud. Yes. Uh, this will be wood. Uh, this will be water. And this will be snow. Yeah, so it, it was working. It was giving me the surface type. And of all the physical materials, being used by the material and it was working correctly metal is metal ground is ground gravel almost done grass and concrete and the last one is Actually, pretty useful set to, for a fantasy game that covers most. I use uh, concrete as rocks, usually. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so now let's do a test. Okay, so it's, it's reading this, uh, so let's try doing byte to integer, because they are just an index, so this should be enough, if not the next from up. Okay, we got footsteps, we don't need to do more than that, oh, uh, I disabled that, so to integer and just push it forward and connect this execution and we have it footsteps sound and we can enable or disable rattle and is female let's make it exposed and do they have to be replicated i don't think so even the component i don't think he is replicated by default because there's no point Component replicated. Yeah, it's not replicated. It doesn't need to be. So everything is already inside this component, so I don't have to do anything inside the character. And any character that has this component will have footsteps automatically. 